Well, this gun is the Gerson MC 1911S Untouchable. Now, this gun is made in Gerson, Turkey, and it's imported into the United States by European American Armory. And what they were hoping to do with the Untouchable is to give you a gun that's got a lot of features, but not, not a really bad price tag. So the gun in my hands is the, the full size, the government model size with a five inch barrel. But this is a whole line of guns available in different finishes, as well as different sizes. There's a 4.4 inch commander size gun, as well as a 3.4 inch barreled gun that's really modern on the officers. So this gun, really straight up 1911. There's no Series 80 or 90, there's a Series 70 style gun. It does have uh, a drop safety in the form of a lighter weight firing pin. But this would be familiar to John Moses Browning or really anybody who knows about the 1911. So some of the things that you get with this gun uh, are these unusual stocks. They use a series of hexagons. And to be honest, you can really hold on to them. When it comes to holding on to this gun, you've got a checkered mainspring housing. And then of course, with your beaver tail grip safety here at the back of the gun, it's very well fitted, but there's no way that you're gonna get any hammer bite. And in the case of the Untouchable, you've got a Rowl style hammer, and of course it's, it's grooved and it's skeletonized. Up here towards the front of the frame, uh, you've got your aluminum trigger, and this too is uh, skeletonized, but it's also grooved, and actually it's a pretty good trigger. Now when it comes to the front of the gun, they've machined in front strap checkering. Now on the dust cover, they've gone ahead and added Picatinny rail, so if you wanna add a light or a flashlight, you can. And on the slide, both in front and at the rear, you have grasping grooves cut in front and back, making this gun actually very easy to rack. Now, when it comes to the sights at the rear, now these are both dovetailed in, so if you wanna change your sights out, you can. But this is straight up old school. At the rear, you've got a two dot combat style sight, very slick, and up front, again dovetailed in, uh, you have a single white dot. So this has three white dot sights. When it comes to the controls, really only the safety lever is completely bilateral. Then on the left side, you have your traditional slide lock here, and of course, you have your magazine release. In the case of the Untouchable, you're looking at an eight round capacity, single stack detachable box with actually a bumper pad on the bottom. So takedown on the Untouchable is very familiar 1911, right? So at the front, you have a traditional recoil spring plug and barrel bushing. And then in order to get the slide off, you have to line up the slide lock there and simply push it through once you're aligned. And of course, once you get your slide lock out, you can pull this barrel off to the front and you'll see it's got the traditional two lugs of the regular light 1911 and of course the barrel hood here and it's old school swinging link on the bottom. Now when you look under the slide, you'll see there's no complicated safeties or anything like that, uh, but you do have an internal uh, extractor on the right side, an internal short extractor. When it comes to the rest of the gun, it's straight 1911 lock work. You have the single action hammer, obviously, and trigger. Then you've got your slide rails all the way through here, through the length of the main part of the frame around the locking block area. And then you have a fixed, really kind of beefy ejector uh, on the left side of the gun. So Gerson makes heavy use of uh, Cerakote as a finish. This one is very nice, it's tasteful, it's basic black. So when it comes to an affordable 1911, in, in, in God's caliber as far as I'm concerned, 45 ACP, this Untouchable is really quite a gun, especially for the price. So for more on the Untouchable, go to eaacorp.com.